What's going on guys? It's very 20 back with another Throwback Thursday diecast review. And today we got the 2009 Patrick Carpentier Nationwide uh, Napa 124. So go ahead and go over the box. Look at the top of it there on the side. You got the production number Patrick Carpentier 2009 Camry, one of 2,142. Back and side. Now here's one car I've wanted to get forever. I believe uh, he only ran this once, and it was in Montreal for the, uh, of course, the the road course race uh, uh, in the Nationwide Series. Talk about one track they really need to get back to in the Xfinity Series. Uh, always put up some great racing. Uh, they always had some really cool names as well. They had uh, all the races between Ambrose and Villeneuve and Carpentier and and uh, a lot of a lot of road course specialists. It was uh, always some great racing for Montreal. So. Uh, let's hop into it here. We'll start from the front. So look at the nose here. Toyota Camry. You got Napa here on the hood. Look at that engine detail in there. There you go. There's a good look at it, man. Fantastic detail underneath. You got Toyota Napa, Napa filters. And you got Nationwide there on the windshield. Step aside to get a good look at the paint scheme. Oh man, I always love the uh, the MWR cars. Got the silver rims. The Napa paint scheme is always really really cool. Got the '99 on the side there. Uh, again, this is a hard one to find, man. I've <laughs> I've wanted to get this one forever, and uh, my buddy hooked me up, uh, gave me a good deal on this car uh, from his collection. So uh, I'll link his channel down down in the description. Uh, uh, my buddy Diecast Reviews. So. Uh, he's got some pretty cool uh, cool stuff on his channel as well, so you can go ahead and check that out. But uh, yeah, look uh, down the left side, go ahead and show you the top. Patrick Carpentier, you got 99, the roof flaps function. And on to the back. Got Napa, Auto Pro, Toyota. And the deck lid DIN number is 108. And look at the fuel cell there in the back. Now one really cool thing about this car that I always thought was really neat, uh, how uh, the, the sides are actually a little bit different. Uh, of course you got uh, auto parts here in French on one side and uh, of course English on the other. So I always thought that was a really cool deal as well. So uh, just something really neat about this car. Uh, we'll go ahead and zoom out and give you a good look at it. Oh wait, man, this car is so cool. Again, I love, uh, man, just uh, the whole, I guess he only, like I said, ran this once. This is kind of a, a random car, but man, it's so cool. Uh, again, I'm really happy I finally uh, got my hands on one of these. So, uh, go across it one more time again. Uh, ran this in Montreal, and I believe he finished uh, 38th. Uh, had an issue with the car, but uh, was running pretty good. And uh, yeah, another look at it underneath. So there's one Patrick Carpentier car I could cross off my list. Uh, I still want to get my hands on his 2008 Cup car, that Valvoline car. Uh, that, I always thought that was a good looking car as well. But uh, but man, again, really happy uh, with this car. I definitely highly recommend it if you can, uh, if you can find one. It's, uh, it's just one of those cars that's really neat. Just kind of a, a one-time deal that he ran in Montreal. So uh, again, really cool that they uh, they made a die cast. And it's, uh, it's definitely a really cool one. So... There you have it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. It helps me out a ton, but uh, that'll do it. Love y'all. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.